This is Chariot KGB system 5 years old. Variety is Sunburst Canada Origin. The rootstock is Prunus Mahalib, very vigorous rootstock. On this type of the rootstock we want to have around 25 upright leaders. We are removing all lateral branches from the leaders. Only leave small stubs where fruit will be. This is the stub from last year where fruit was. After you pick the fruit, this little stub will die and you can remove it. Cherry produced the most quality fruit on the base of this one year old branches. This is the leader that we gonna regrow because he is too dominant. You can use chainsaw or this little saw. After 5 years, every year you need to remove 2 to 3 liters to keep the wood maximize 3 meters in height and keep flower buds young which produce most quality fruit. Now I can demonstrate where you need to make cuts. I leave the base of this one year old branches. This little stub will produce fruit only for this upcoming year and remove 10 to 15% of each leader. Sunburst cherries are self-fertile and very productive, so pruning must be sharp or the fruits will be small. Same here, remove all lateral branches and 10 to 15% of each leader. Remove weak branches that have a lot of flower buds, but can produce quality fruit. This branch is too low and will be in the shade of the canopy, so the fruit will not be of good quality, so we remove it. Leaders shouldn't be more than 3 meters.
Don't forget to protect these big cuts that you made. Use phyto balsam or wax for protection from bacteria and water. From this place new leaders will grow. I will show you how to do it on one more trip. On this tree we are gonna remove three leaders. In order to renew the leaders, the sun must penetrate to that place in the canopy. Same thing here, a leaf stops from one year old branches and remove that from the last year. If you want you can leave some side branches that grows in the field and nothing to shade.
cherries are very sensitive fruit species, so larger cuts should be waxed to protect them from the drying out.